Uh, greetings, greetings, beloved of God. People of God, greetings, greetings, and welcome. I'm back again uh, with another word of encouragement. And I, I just want to say briefly, if I can, be careful what you sow. Be careful what you put in the ground. Be careful. Because whatever it is that specifically that you put in the ground, it's going to come back and it's coming back greater. It's coming back greater. Even the Bible says in um, St. Matthew's, the uh, 7th chapter, the 17th verse and 18th verse, it clearly lets us know there's two types of trees. There's a good tree and a bad tree or a corrupt tree. The Bible says a good tree bears good fruit. But then the Bible says that a corrupt tree bears evil fruit. This is why we have to be careful of our mouth. We have to be careful of our actions. We have to be careful of our ways, how we treat people. Because the Bible says that we're going to give an account for everything and every deed that's done in our body. And the Bible also says it's not what goes in the mouth that defiles us, but what comes out of us. What comes out, this is why um, the Bible says there's life and death in the power of the tongue. Because in your mouth, in your mouth can determine blessings or cursings. And some of you have to be careful of your mouth. You're standing in still because... You're saying you want to be blessed, but you're still speak, speaking, speaking curses of yourself because of your frustration. You have to guard your mouth. See, the, see, the enemy will send a, send a dream to you, a bad dream, and he wants you to speak it out and trap you in it. This is why you have to be careful what you think. You have to be careful what you, what you say. You have to be careful what you, who you hang around because all of those are seeds, words are seeds, whether good or bad. Be careful how you treat people whether good or bad. Be careful how you talk, whether good or bad, because those are all the seeds and they're coming up. And so even in this season, there's a, and just like I said, somebody who's seen a super, somebody done already received a supernatural blessing today and you're receiving blessings um, through their obedience. The thing about it, that's a harvest from what they planted. That's a harvest. But some that are listening to me, you're receiving a bad harvest. You're receiving a harvest of torment. You're seeing a harvest of pain. You're seeing a harvest of bitterness because there's certain things that you're planting. If you don't want it to come up, kill it. If you don't want it to come up, don't plant it. And for those who are plant or who are receiving a bad harvest, while you're receiving a bad harvest, plant new seeds. Plant seeds of love. Plant seeds of determination. Plant seeds of I'm not going to give up. Plant seeds I'm going to trust God. Plant seeds I'm going to receive my blessing today. Plant those seeds. Because in this season, God is speeding up the blessings. Because the harvest is ripe. The blessings are there for us to pick. It is a matter of doing it. It's just a matter of activating our faith and taking it. Getting it. Taking what we belong. Take what belongs to us. Take what God has laid up for us. We got to take it. The Bible said the violent. They take. Well, how they take it? They take it by force. By force. By any means necessary. So it's time to move forward. It's time to bless God. It's time to magnify, magnify his name. Plant those kind of seeds. Plant, set your mind, the Bible says, set your affection on the things that are good. Your affection on the things that are pure of good report. Because when you do that, you're planting seeds. And the Bible says that um, whatever you sow, you're going to reap it. This is your harvest. You want, if in your life, Things are not how you want them to be. Change them. Simple. If you don't like something, change it. If you don't like something about yourself, change it. You don't like something about your body, change it. As far as physical workout, change it. You don't like something about how you think, how you feel, change it. See your court. God bless you.